All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Master Motes Film Session. And I got to talk about my man, Vince Williams, man. He's been dominant in terms of him rushing the passer, in terms of him playing against the run. I think he's leading the league right now in tackles for losses. And you could just see, man, he is playing with a nastiness, man. He has a mentality where he will not allow himself to be blocked by one man. And he feels like he should get every tackle as it pertains to the run game and stuff like that. So this first play we're going to break down of Vince is uh, him rushing the passer. This is a... Uh, simple just fire zone blitz but we're gonna break it down in a second so this Vince right here let's watch it in full speed and then we'll go all righty so to start it out like I said they're playing a simple just strong fire zone meaning Bud's gonna be coming off the edge Vince is blitzing right here through this uh inside B gap or excuse me, this in this case would be the A gap. And then from there, the rest of these guys are in coverage. So Devin Bush is going to be in coverage off of, uh, off of number three. Terrell Evans over here is going to be off of two. And now this is the thing that I like about Vince, man. <clears throat> number one, he's a little anxious, giving it away with his depth, with his depth. But once he decides to go, I love his rush plan. I love the fact that he knows right now I'm trying to set this up to beat him on the inside. So he initially comes down a little bit to his outside. But then from there, beautiful job, man, winning. Beautiful job having a rush plan. Beautiful job using his hands and executing it. And we'll see it a lot better once we get to the uh, end zone copy. Like I said, on, on film, the only thing I would just say, man, is don't give it away. You cheated up a little bit. He's getting a little antsy right here. But the way they blocked this up, man, it fits perfect for what he was trying to do. Yeah, this guy right here, that's that's it's different, man. You can't drop your head against a guy like Vince Williams, man. He's like I said, man, in terms of interior rush linebackers, man, he's one of the best in the business is doing it right now. And we'll see it a lot cleaner from the end zone copy. So when we talk about having a rush plan, you gotta know, okay, how do I want to beat this guy? Am I trying to run him over or am I gonna be able to, you know, stick him with a move? With Vince, see he's coming with the outside path because he knows he wants this inside he knows he wants that but if he starts inside there's no way he'll be able to, to to win there because of the angle of the running back but by him simply setting him up by coming on a more outside path man this is just beautiful right here that's smarts right there and then also i love the fact that you can see the backs on backers paying off we talk about in pittsburgh right we we highlighted benny snell in week one against the giants in terms of him standing up and picking up the blitzer and that ultimately gave ben the time he needed to throw the touchdown pass right here this looks like one guy that works on this a lot versus a guy who does not work on this a lot and when you see david johnson come up here man duck his head vince does a great job of getting skinny and using his hands a lot of times man guys will get lazy after they win with their body, they don't want to clear it with their hands. Beautiful Jari, he's won, but now clear the hands, clear the hips. Now get back up, let's go. Beautiful job making this play, man. And find a way to get Deshaun on the ground. We know how hard Deshaun is to tackle. He's very elusive, but this is a great job by Vince, man. And ultimately, he's been doing this a lot, man, when it comes to just blitzing inside. So once again, full speed right here. But yeah, man, very, very impressed with Vince Williams' play right now, especially when you consider the guys that he's playing alongside, man. It's very easy to be overlooked, but he's been finding ways to stand out and flash, and I just love his intensity and everything he's doing right now. Right now, this next play we're going to show, once again, man, we talked about Vince Williams in terms of uh, blitzing and, and, and getting sacks in terms of pass rush. Now we're going to see him against the run. And once again, man, this is showing up a lot on his tape, especially these first couple of games. And like I said, it's the reason why he's leading the league in terms of having tackles for loss. This is what he specializes in. So this is him right here. We'll play at full speed. Break it down. Big time hit, tackle for loss. You'd love to see it. All right, so from a defensive standpoint, the Steelers are playing a basic cover three. All right, and it's a Liz. So when we talk about Rip Liz, man, just talking about the safety, all right? So the safety right here is Edmonds. He's down to the left side of the defense. And his whole responsibility as the Liz safety, he's curled to flat. These two guys are going to be your hook curls. And then Bud has curl flat over here, right? But the thing that I love about Vince, man, number one, the play recognition, okay? So we talked about in the past, when you get three by one on defense, your linebackers cheat to the trip. So you see... As this motion is about to happen, they're doing a simple little yo-yo motion. 
tight end comes over here and comes back but as the motion is happening this is cheating over with Devin, and then they come back because obviously the tight end comes back but if the tight end would have went all the way over and created a three by one set then they would have cheated their for they would have cheated their alignments over but now that we know he's not doing that this is the part that i just love man you look at the mentality you look at vince and this tight end one guy wants this contact the other guy is catching this contact if you're catching it's not gonna be a good situation for you ultimately that led to vince being able to just completely dominate his uh that, that guy trying to block him and have a big time tackle for loss in the backfield and we'll see it a lot cleaner from the end zone as well a guy that really stands out first we're gonna talk about vince but it's another guy in tyson alualu that really stands out to me man but once again look at vince right here smarts he's about to cheat over i don't need to now now he knows okay i'm inside of this cross his face bam big time hit he didn't want any of that and then facetime that's what we call it that's facetime that's what the 5g that's the good stuff right there he saw him right in the eyes when he hit him i love that but watch tyson tyson ultimately creates this opportunity for vince tyson starting that nose first year right obviously replacing uh javon hargrave Watch how Tyson wins right now and flashes in front of David. Look at this. Beautiful hand usage. Get rid of the center. He makes him have to cut back. And then from there, Vince absolutely levels the running back. But that's what you call a good defense right there, man. If Tyson isn't flashing like that, David probably hits his front side. But because he does win and because he does, he wins so fast, it makes the running back have to cut back. And when you're when all your guys, especially in the run game, are winning their gaps, controlling the line of scrimmage, man, it is fun to play behind that. So one last time, man, just watch Vince Williams, man, go to work and watch Tyson go to work. But yeah, man, that's the Vince Williams uh, two play breakdowns that we did right there, man. In terms of what he's been able to do from just a run support, pass rush standpoint. I'm excited about what he's doing this year, man. So definitely appreciate you tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.